enter to the Temple of Zeus next to the National Garden. You can actually see the changing of the guards next to the National Garden. Take a walk through the National Gardens. And uh, through the gardens, you cross the street and you'll come across the Temple of Zeus. Now, it's not really necessary to pay for a guided tour. Um, you can also buy the tickets as part of the uh, Acropolis and six archaeological combined tickets, which is really the best way to go if you anticipate on seeing two or three of these sites. Um, now the Temple of Zeus, so this was not built during the same time as the Acropolis. Acropolis was about 450 BC. This was uh, done after the Romans sort of conquered the area and started to, well, the Romans loved the ideas and the ideologies and the gods and they uh, created and continued to create edifices in Zeus's name in this case. So out of the original columns, uh, I think it's only these 12 or 13 that exist today. Uh, an earthquake, wars, weather, toppled the rest of them. Uh, they do seem to be under renovation. And so perhaps sometime in the future, they'll have even more of this thing recreated. But as you can see, there's not a whole lot to this side. It is kind of impressive when you walk up to the columns and look at them. So Hadrian, who was a Roman ruler, completed these, uh, t the temple in 132 AD. So the cost of an individual ticket is something like, at the time, in 2022 was uh, 12 euros, that's about 13 US. Again, if you get the Acropolis and six archaeological sites, you get a combined ticket and it is included in, in, in those tours, which are self-guided tours, of course. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe and like.